Mañana, we want to welcome you to New, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home. Amen. Praise God. And bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. So, what we want you to do is uh, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. We've come together, assemble ourselves together, and we just invite the Holy Spirit, invite the Holy Spirit to come and be with us. Amen. Yeah. So, you join us and prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. He's given me this message, and I hope uh, you receive it. Amen. I'll be open, and he wants to speak to you. Some say, uh, well, he never speaks to me. Well, you got to be open. And sometimes, you know, he never says anything. Well, you see you see this, those of you that are watching my video, we welcome you. Those of you that are listening, I'm holding a Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is called a Bible, V-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. And, you know, when you open it and you read it, he talks to you. So then, then they'll never say, he never talks to me. Amen. You study to show yourself approved. You study it. You meditate on it. And he'll speak to you. Amen. And uh, we need his word. You know, everything's going uh, bad. Uh, chaos going everywhere. But you know what? All the answers are right here. Yes. So don't look to the world for, for, for uh, answers. Look to the word. Yes. Open the word and read it. Amen. Amen. And uh, he'll speak to you. And he'll tell yes. you what to do. And you'll have peace, you'll have faith, and you're going to step out and do what he's called you to do. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We want to welcome you. This is the message. These things you're facing, these mountains, these giants that you face on a daily basis. You know what? This is what you tell them. You tell them about your God. Do you know your God? You got to open it to get to know him. You got to have a relationship with him. So that you can have the word in you. Amen. So the word can come out of you. Yes. You're, not, you're not just going to hold it in. You're going to have to let it out. Right. And speak the word. Confess the word. Amen. Yeah. Faith fill words. Amen. And not be be positive and not negative. So you got to be careful what things you say. You just don't go repeating it, uh, everything like you hear a, a parent. A parent can repeat everything you say. Mm -hmm. But we're not parents. We're children of God. Amen. And we don't confess everything uh, the world is saying or whatever your family whatever your friends whatever you hear you just don't go say it don't confess it because it's going to come back to you amen so we don't want that to happen so he wants to talk to you through his word so prepare yourselves to receive amen be blessed be encouraged be changed and be corrected sometimes we need to be corrected and nowadays you know church we don't want to be corrected we just we, we're just so so um uh, uh, offended mm. you know say hey you know what I didn't need to go there to be offended well God wants to correct us he wants mm -hmm. to correct he's our heavenly father mm -hmm. we're his children amen so he wants to correct us so before we get any further let's uh, grab our Bibles yeah. and say this together amen yeah. say it like a mean it church amen yes. this is my Bible I am what it says I am I have what it says I have I can do what it says I can do Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I know be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My mind is alert. You know, we fight a spiritual battle all the time, and the battlefield is the mind. Yes. And you think a whole lot of things, but if you're not renewing, if you're not feeding yourself the word of God, and if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, you're going to have a whole lot of negative stuff in there. And you got to clean it out. Renew your mind with the word of God. He tells us to renew our mind. Amen. And we to renew our mind so we don't go around confessing negative things. Amen. So remember that. Hallelujah. I boldly confess. Yes. My mind is alert. Mm -hmm. And you know sometimes you got to speak things that be not as though they are. Yes. Amen. So sometimes my body don't feel well. Yes. But I got to speak the word of God too and say body you're healed. Yes. By Jesus Christ, you're healed. You're healed. And i got to speak it, you know, uh -huh. because this body is just flesh and, and this body just wants to do its own it's thing, you know. Thing. But if I go around confessing negative things, mm -hmm. and if I find somebody is going to agree with me, <laughs> uh -huh. then that's not going to help me. But I'm, what's going to help me is this, confessing the word of God yeah. back to him. It says, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yes. Yes. Amen. I am healed totally. Yes. So body, receive yes. your healing. Line up with the word of God. Amen. And sickness, you have no place in this body. Uh -huh. This body belongs to yes. Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Yes. So guess what? This is the temple of the uh -huh. Holy Spirit. 
So uh, <laughs> he can't give you no sickness. Well, God put that sickness on you to teach you something. No. Well, he can't give you sickness. He sacrificed his son. Yeah. Why would he want to put sickness back yeah. on you? Amen. By his stripes, you were healed. You are yeah. healed. And be healed. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Somebody needed that. Yeah. So you can grab a hold to it. Amen. So I got a couple of handouts before we get started. And I want to read them to you. Here's a. Uh, Tell your mountain or your giants about your God. Magnify him and not the problem. Everybody going around magnifying the problem. Mm -hmm. And that's the first thing come out of their mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, you find out immediately where people are just by hearing what's coming out of their mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Guess who else is listening? The enemy. <laughs> he's listening. So he's going to, you sow in these seeds and, he, and all these seeds are going to grow in you. So yeah. quit being negative. So magnify him and not your problem not your giant not your circumstances amen stay focused on him stay focused on him we're gonna be man this is good i put out a scripture break every day and i want to read this to you it says never fear never fear jesus is here never fear jesus is near he says he never leaves us no forsaken that's right so why are you doubting if you're going to doubt you doubt yourself because he's there, he's knocking, and he wants to come in, but yeah. we're not letting him in. Yeah. When it's time to, <clears throat> when it comes to fear, the key word is never fear. Right. Amen. Never let circumstances move you. That's right. Never let the devil see you sweating. <laughs> <laughs> never let people intimidate you. Mm -hmm. Never forget that God is for you. Uh -huh. He says, He is for you, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you, and I'll supply all of your needs. Amen? Everybody's talking about shortage now. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm trusting him, and he's going to meet all of my needs. Amen? Father, not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Amen? If God is for us, who can be against us? The opposite of fear is what? Faith. We walk by faith. A child of God walks by faith and not by fear. Amen. Guess what? You get the word of God in you and you're going to step out in faith because fear has to leave. Fear has to go. Amen. <laughs> Stay filled with the with faith. Stay filled with the word. Give no place to the devil and fear. The devil and fear are under your feet. You speak to him. Remember, we're going to be talking about this. He's given us power. He's given us authority. Now you have to use it. And you got to remind the devil because he forgets. Mm -hmm. And he's persistent. Yeah. You know, part-time pressure is no match to a full-time devil. Right. He's going to keep coming. He's going to yeah. keep coming. You got to remind him. Say, wait a minute. I have authority over you. You used to put me on a run. Now I'm going to put you on a run. Uh -huh. I'm going to confess the word, and I'm growing and going for God. Amen. So yeah. you know what? You belong under my feet. So yeah. get under my feet. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so never fear. Jesus is here. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Man, that blessed me. I don't know if it blessed you, but if it didn't bless you, we just got to get you saved. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. So, tell your mountain, tell your giant about your God. Yes. Know who your God is and brag about it. You know, I brag about, I told you I used to be overdosed, uh, I overdosed in uh, sports, and I know everything about sports. And I used to tell everybody about sports. Man, it just flow out of me. So why can't we do the same thing with the Word of God? Just get full of the Word of God and just go out and share the Word. Amen. That's what we're supposed to do anyway. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> I just got to tell you this. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see yeah, or hear. Yeah. So wherever you're going, you're the closest thing. As a child of God, mm -hmm. you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever see or hear. Because they'll never step into a church building. But they'll see you. Yeah. And you need to release the word. Amen. Yeah. So the mountain giants you face daily. Control them or they'll control you. Amen. You know, you've heard this before. Don't get a devil to ride because you'll want to drive. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll take over. Yeah. So be careful. Yeah. God has not given us. God has given us power, authority to face those mountains, those giants. So be victorious. Be a winner. Mm -hmm. Amen. You've heard the negative things all the time. You know, you're a loser. You know nothing. You're no good. 
you can't do this, you can't do that, you, you're not qualified. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? If you start reading the Word of God and tell yeah. you, He's already called you. Yeah. He's already qualified you. Mm -hmm. So you're a child of God and you're on a winning team. Amen. Now things are going to turn around and I'm going to be stepping out in faith. Mm -hmm. when, when, when Jesus told uh, Peter, come, he stepped out in faith. Mm -hmm. I said, wow, praise God. God has already told you, come. Amen. He's called to you. So yeah. quit waiting for the world to invite you in. If God has already called you, you can do all things through Christ. Oh, Amen. Whoo, hallelujah. I'm blessed already. Yeah, <laughs> these mountains, these giants, these cares, these problems will continue to trouble you even after you're born again. Oh, you know, yeah. just because you're born again and, and you sit back doing nothing, don't mean these things ain't going to come visit you. Right. They're still going to come visit you. But you have victory. Amen. Yeah. You have the word in you. And you're going to confess the word. Say, wait a minute. Yeah. This ain't going to happen. Nope. You're going to confess what the word of God says. Be a winner. You can be a winner or you can be a defeated Christian. Uh -huh. And just sit there and do nothing. But you don't want to do that. Okay. God has qualified you. He's equipped you with everything you need to fulfill whatever mission he's given you. Yeah. But you got to spend time with him to find out what is my mission, Lord. Yeah. Go and share the word. Yeah. Amen. Be his ambassador. Be his uh, uh, minister of reconciliation. Bringing the word to a lost world. We need it right now. Be encouraging somebody, you know, instead of pushing them down mm -hmm. and, and, and and just uh, uh, making them feel bad. Mm -hmm. Be a winner. Be a winner or a defeated uh, believer. Mm -hmm. Speak the word. Speak faith-filled words. Yeah. Amen. It's not hard. I used to be a cussing champ. Now, I want to be a Bible speaking champ for God. Amen. Speaking the word of God. Right. So you can do the same thing. We can all change. Yeah. <laughs> it's changed us all. So we want to change. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus told us that as long as we're in this world, he will continue. You will continue to face these mountains. You'll continue to face these giants. Amen. So let's open our Bibles to John 16, 33. We read it before. And that'll be our text for today. Amen. But John 16, verse 33. And you read it so many times. That's okay. Let's read it again. we got to get it in us. Yeah. John chapter 16, verse 33. In red, Jesus speaking. And these, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. So you're looking for peace? See, if you got Jesus in your heart, if you have Jesus in your life, you're going to have peace. Yeah. Amen. He is the Prince of Peace. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. In the world you shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So let's remember this. Amen. We have overcome. He has overcome the world, and so can we. <clears throat> Let me read to you from the exp ex expanded Bible. And these things I have. <clears throat> and these things so I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me in the world you will have troubles yes. <laughs> amen <laughs> you will have problems persecutions sufferings but be brave take courage take heart I have defeated I have victory over conquer and overcome the world amen this is what he's telling us we can have these things also amen Amen. Just a few uh, definitions I want to give you. Persecution, mm -hmm. harassment, discriminations, mm -hmm. maltreatments, somebody bullying you, mm -hmm. <laughs> sufferings, pain, yeah. anguish, distress, miseries, agony, afflictions. And what's affliction? Affliction. The suffering of body or mind. They're disorder, the disorder a, a disease, or an illness. Amen. Mm -hmm. These things coming against you. Yeah. Amen. And overcome. Overcome is to conquer, defeat, beat, triumph, and rise above. You know, last week we talked about uh, rising up as eagles, you know, over these problems, over these yeah. mountains, over these giants, you know, yeah. because <laughs> when you're in the Word of God, you know, you can rise above all yeah. these things. Amen. So yeah. let's, let's, let's remember that. So that's what an overcomer is. We're an overcomer. You're an overcomer. Quit calling yourselves <laughs> negative things and start uh, confessing positive things over yourself. Yes. 
Amen. Confess yeah. the truth. The word of God is the truth. Yes. This when you confess the, the truth, it's going to set you free. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm thinking straight now. I'm thinking the way God wants me to think. Mm -hmm. Amen. So see yourself that way and confess yes. the truth. Amen. So Amen. today I want to encourage you to live a successful and winning life in the middle of facing your giants. Oh, in the middle yeah. of facing these mountains. Yes. Amen. Yes. You can still be successful. These mountains yes. of what? Of cares. Of yes. worries, anxieties, troubles, and problems. You know, uh -huh. <laughs> we're in this world, but not of this world. That's we right. are passing through. We're going to heaven. But still, as long as we're here, we're going to run across some of these things. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, know the truth. It's going to set you free. Yes, Let's go to Hebrews 13 and 3. Hebrews 13 and 3. Mm -hmm. We're using the word of God. Hebrews chapter 3 and verse 13 says, But exhort one another daily, while well, it is called today, lest any of you be hardened uh, through the deceitfulness of sin. Let me read it to you from the easy. 13. Huh? 3. Chapter 3, verse 13. Oh, chapter 3, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Got it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the Amplify says, but instead of uh, warn, admonish, urge, and encourage one another every day as long as it is called today. Yes. Amen. Let me read it to you from the easy to read version. <laughs> I love that one. Plain English so you can understand it. <laughs> but encourage each other every day while you still have something called today. Oh, encourage one another. Amen. Quit putting each other down. Yeah. You know, that's what we like to do most of the time, you know, mm -hmm. is uh, put each other down. And a lot of times it's because of jealousy. Mm. You know, you're doing things I can't do, or you're doing things that I'm too lazy to do. Mm. So we're going to talk about it and put you down. Amen. But it says encourage yeah. one another. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see somebody, <laughs> this may be their last day. Mm. And they're talking to God saying, you know, if if you don't send me a word right now, you know, hey, I'm just going to do a label myself. And it was you that passed by that Bible that came by, the closest thing to the yeah. to a Bible, the closest yeah. thing that came by and says, you know what? God just gave me a word for you. Uh -huh. He said he loves you and yeah. you're going to make it and things are going to get better. Mm -hmm. Wow. Lift them up instead yeah. of pushing them down. You know, everybody does that so easy, you know, pushing down is so easy instead yeah. of picking Picking them up. Amen. Yes. So let me finish reading. Encourage each other every day while you still have something called today. Yeah. Help each other so that none of you will be fooled by sin yeah. and become too hard to change. Oh, God. Don't let nobody ever tell you mm. that things are hopeless mm. for you. That's too late for you. Mm -mm. Some people will do that, so you got to be careful. If you're around that, Separate yourself from that. Yes. You know, get away from that. You know, that's why it's so important that you have the Word yes. in you and know what the Word of God says and not what people say or what so and so says. Yes. Amen. Well, there's no hope for you anymore. That's it. You lost. You know, only so many can be saved and you're not one of them. Mm. I don't think so. That's not what my, the Word of God says. And you know what? I'm just going to take that, stick it on the shelf, and just yes. forget about it. Amen. Or uh -huh. just press delete. I'm not going there. Amen. Yeah. Because there's hope. Jesus was sacrificed. Jesus gave his life yes, that we yes. might have life and life right. more abundantly. Amen. Amen. And he, we can be saved and we can be changed. Amen. Yes. Praise God. And these mountains, these giants come your way. Don't run from them. Run to them. Amen. Stop them and say, no mas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't going anywhere. I'm standing my ground. And you know who's backing you. You know your God, yes. and you know who's backing you. He yeah. is. Let's go to First Samuel. Mm. <laughs> First Samuel seventeen. First Samuel seven, chapter seventeen, verse fifty-one. <laughs> I better find it now. First Samuel is right before Second Samuel. <laughs> First Samuel, chapter seventeen, and verse fifty-one. 
I got all kind of highlights on my Bible. If your Bible's not highlighted or underlined no. or personalized, no. get rid of it, put it aside, <laughs> and get you one that you can mark up and, yeah. and highlight. Amen. Amen. Verse 51. Verse 51 is highlighted. You know, we're talking about David and Goliath. Uh -huh. When David saw Goliath, he started talking about his God. When you see your giant, when you see your mountain, do you start talking about your God? Or you start fearing? And you start confessing what the world is saying, the negative things. Yeah. David immediately said, nobody there was talking about God except uh -huh. when David showed up. Right. Amen. You know why he was full of God? Uh -huh. Amen. And God had already seen him through other battles. Yes. And he won. Amen. Amen. But when he saw... <laughs> Goliath, a giant, you know, somebody way bigger than you are. Amen. He says, verse 51, Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sea thereof and slew him and cut off his head wherewith. And when the Philistines, uh, Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. They ran. Yeah. They're out of here. <laughs> They're gone. Amen. But David ran to him. He's he's strong. He's he, he knows who's backing him. And glory is with me. Wherever you go, God is with you. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Well, let me read it to you the way I've got it here. David ran and stood over him, Goliath, or your giant or your mountain, whatever you want to call it, or your circumstance. He took hold of the Philistine's sword and drew it from the sheath. After he killed him, he cut his head off from the with the sword. When the Philistines saw that their hero was dead, they ran, they turned and ran. Amen. So let me read this to you. Cut off your enemy's head. What is your enemy? The sin? Yeah. The source? Yes. The circumstance? The distraction? Yes. Cut off the evil communication. Yes. Cut off the bad language. Mm -hmm. Cut off the bad word. Cut off the negative words. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, I just have to say it. I just have to speak it. Well, if you just have to say something negative, why can you say something positive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Say uh -huh. something positive, and that'll be better for you mm -hmm. because you're sowing good seed in your garden, and I want good things to grow in my life, in my garden. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Cut off the alcoholism. <laughs> I'm going to say some things here. You know, if it touches you, hey, it affects us in different ways. Amen? Mm -hmm. Cut off the drug addiction. Mm -hmm. Cut off bad relationships. Cut off bad habits yeah. and vices. Cut off pornography. Yeah. Cut off uh, dishonesty. Okay. Cut off uh, adultery or infidelity. Mm -hmm. Cut off these things, whatever. And you might, I'm, I, you know, I, I didn't mention all, but you know what, what it is in your life. Just cut it off. Yeah. Amen. That's your time. That's what's holding you down. That's what's holding you back. Just cut it off. Amen. Every time the giant shouts and lifts its ugly head, know what to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you plug into your source. Amen. Jesus. Amen. You plug into the word and confess the word over the situation. Yes. Amen. That's why it's so important that you have the word of God in you. Mm -hmm. Not only in you, but it's got to come out of you. Yes. It says out of your innermost being shall yes. flow mm -hmm. rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. The word is alive. Yes, the is. word is active and it'll go and accomplish. He says what I send it out to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Use your God-given talent. Yeah. Stay connected. Stay plugged. Stay yeah. focused yeah. on the things of God. Amen. The world is going to try to distract you. But stay focused. Amen. Mm -hmm. Know your weapons formed against you shall not prosper. No weapon formed against you shall not prosper. Mm -hmm. Whatever the enemy has, you know, hey, before I step out every day, no weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' right. name. Because the greater one is with me. The greater one goes with me. And I'm stepping out in faith. Amen. Cut off your enemy's head. Cannot Escape your mountain or your giant daily, but no, Jesus has given us the power, the authority, his word to stop the mountain, to stop the giant. Amen. 
So praise God. Well, I don't have anything. You know, they try to uh, give David the king's uh, armor mm -hmm. to put on. And Saul was a big man. Mm -hmm. And David was only a young boy. Mm -hmm. A shepherd boy, you know. <laughs> and he tried to put, all, put, put something else on that he's not fitted for. Mm -hmm. You know, people try to put things on you that you're not fitted for. Right. And you know, finally David knew and says, you know what? I'm just going to use what God gave me. Mm -hmm. God, whatever God supplied you with and gave you, that's good yeah. enough. Yeah. Amen. He took he, he, he took his slingshot back and ran to meet the giant. He grabbed some stone and he ran and met the giant. Say, I'm going to use what God has given me. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ. Whatever God has given you is sufficient to fulfill whatever mission he's given yeah. you to, 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 to do. Amen. So remember that. I don't have to copy nobody else. He says, I made you original. Be the original I'll make you be. You don't have to go around copying anybody else. Amen. Amen. If you want to copy somebody, he says, be imitators of God. Uh -huh. Imitate him and nobody else. Amen. Amen. Jesus' mission? Simple. <laughs> well, let me read John 10.10. 10. Let's go there. We're, we're on a Bible cruise today. John chapter 10, verse 10. <laughs> Hello, praise God. Oh, I know that, Pastor. I don't have to go to the Bible, but open it up. Maybe uh, you got to dust it off before you can get to it. <laughs> Hallelujah. What is this? It was called the Bible. <laughs> and this is the Word of God. <laughs> Jesus, the Good Shepherd, starts out in verse 10. But, uh, I mean, yeah, before, uh, at the start of the chapter. But verse 10 says this, what the thief, the thief cometh not but to steal, uh -huh. to kill, and to destroy. Yeah, destroy. Jesus says, mine's are red. So uh -huh. get you one where you have red letters. That means Jesus is talking here. <laughs> uh -huh. Jesus says, I am come that they might have life uh -huh. and that they might have it more abundantly. More you abundantly. know where it says, I have come that they might have life? Uh -huh. I'll scratch they put a line right through it yeah. and just put Jose on there. Oh, yeah. And you can put your name on there. Yeah. Because he's talking to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you you can you can go ahead and change that. Well, I don't yeah. want to mark my Bible, but then get one that you can mark. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> uh, that they that Jose might have life. Uh -huh. And that he might, Jose might mm -hmm. have it more abundantly. Mm -hmm. I want to have an abundant life. How about you? Yeah. Amen. Yes. Let me see what uh, let me see what uh, the Amplified says. And a thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. Uh -huh. I have come that they might have uh, and might have and uh -huh. enjoy life yeah. and have it in abundance yeah. to the full till it overflows. Mm -hmm. This is what the uh, Amplified says. Mm -hmm. A thief comes only in order to steal, kill, and destroy. He says, I, Jesus, came that they might have and enjoy life. You could be enjoying life. Mm -hmm. Why do you make it so hard? <laughs> <laughs> and have it abundance, in abundance to the full mm -hmm. till it overflows. Yes. You know, when you fill with the word, when you get the word in you, say you fill it to overflow. Mm -hmm. And then you minister to people from all the overflow that's yes. coming out of you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Fill to overflow. Yes. Hallelujah. You know when you was filling that uh that, that little glass with uh, uh whatever your favorite drink was, you know, a little whiskey, you know, you always always feel it to overflow. And, and if you spilled any, man, you go back and, and just soak up all the stuff that's spilled over. Uh, come on now. <laughs> oh wow. You know why can't we do it with the word of God? It's going to bless you more. And you know, you can get high on that and stay on high. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> get high on the most high. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Pastor, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Take a stand against your mountain. Take a stand against mm -hmm. your giants. Take a stand against your circumstances. Mm -hmm. When you've done all to stand, the Bible says to stand. Yeah. Stand. What am I standing on? I'm standing on solid ground. Yeah. I'm standing on a rock. How about you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stay battle ready. You know, I retired military. I spent quite a bit of my life in military. Mm -hmm. And you know, our mission was stay battle ready. Mm -hmm. Stay ready. Why can't we do it? Yeah. Now we're in God's army. And yeah. we got to stay 
battle ready Amen. for him. You know, see yourself a warrior and not a Amen. warrior. Totally different. You know, when you're full of the word and you have the armor of God on, you're a mighty warrior for God. That's a beautiful song. I don't know if you ever heard it, but mighty warrior, mm -hmm. not a mighty warrior. <laughs> Some of us need to change that. Uh -huh. Amen. We're worrying too much. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Amen. You can throw your Bible away, huh? Grab it. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to come to a close pretty soon here. Amen. God, amen. See, some of you say, well, it's about time. <laughs> oh, my God. The Word is good, man. The Word of God is good. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse... Uh, Starts at verse 10 through 18. Mine starts at verse 10. It says the whole armor of God. Some may say the full armor of God. Depends on what translation you're reading. Amen. Mm -hmm. But the whole armor of God. Yes. So, you ready? Yes. All right. Here we go. Finally, my brethren, be strong in who? The Lord. In the Lord and the power of his might. Mm -hmm. Put on the whole or part. Just part. The full armor, the armor of God or the full armor of God mm -hmm. that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. This is what you need to know. Uh -huh. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of, of this world, uh -huh. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Amen. This is what you're fighting, you know. Mm -hmm. You're not just fighting flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. But you know, we try to try to take it out on each other. Yeah. If you know the word of God, you know mm -hmm. that flesh and blood is not your problem. That's right. Wherefore, take off upon the whole, take on to you the whole armor of yes. God, that you may be able to stand against an evil day, and having done all to stand, do what? Stand. stand therefore, having your loins girded about with the truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. Your feet shod with preparation of gospel of peace. Mm -hmm. Above all, taking the shield of faith, where ye shall be able to quench the fiery uh, darts of the wicked. Oh, and 17, God. all the fiery darts of the wicked. And 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And 18 says, praying always in all prayer and supplication with in the Spirit, yes. and watch watching unto there unto with all perseverance and uh, supplication for all saints. Amen. Amen. So this is what we're supposed to do. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. You know, as a soldier in this in this army in, in this world, <laughs> mm -hmm. I kept my uniform and dressed well. But as a soldier for God, we to put on the whole armor of God, not just part of it. We need the whole thing. And it tells you what each part does. We'll, we'll study about that later on. Amen. But we're to put the whole armor of God or the full armor of God. Amen. So be a mighty soldier for Jesus, not a warrior. Put on the whole armor or the whole suit of, of God. Don't be home without it. <laughs> and don't just put half of it on. Be he says you could be hot or cold, but not lukewarm. You know, we need to put the whole thing on and be hot for him. So put his word first. Trust him and his promises and his word. Amen. Amen. Control your words or your tongue. Proverbs uh, 18, 21 says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. So you have to be careful. What am I? What what have I been speaking? I don't want to speak that way no more. I want to speak positive. I want to be, be positive in the things I, I speak. Amen. Control your words. You control your words. You know. Nobody can do it for you. So be careful. Faithful words. Life and not death. Think before you release your words. Be positive and not negative. These will stop your giants on a daily basis. Amen. The things yeah. that you speak, the things that you shoot out. Amen. You're over here, Marty Warrior. And you're going to shoot out the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to shoot out the Word of God and not negative things. The key thing, just because 
uh, you're born again doesn't mean giants won't come. The key is know who you are, know who's backing you, and know how to stay free. How do I stay free? By staying in the Word. By staying in relationship with Him. Amen. And knowing that I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Knowing that He never leaves me nor forsakes me. You know how many people I've talked to that say, you know, they feel lonely. They feel lonesome. No one's with them. Well, if they knew what the Word of God says, He is always with you. You know, what about uh, the Apostle uh, Paul? He wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. And he was in prison. And God was with him the whole time. He was in prison, but prison wasn't in him. And God used it mightily. Amen. So don't say, well, the circumstances are different, you know. And no, just know that God is with you. Amen. With all the giants we must face daily, our focus and strength as believers must be in him. Amen. Only focused in Him. Stay focused on Him. Stay plugged, connected to Him. Whatever you want to say. You know, keep your spiritual batteries charged up. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> don't run out of fuel. Don't run, excuse me. Don't run out of spiritual fuel. Yeah. Amen. Say, well, you know, hey, God's coming. Half of the uh, brides had a wall and the others didn't. Mm -hmm. Stay prepared on a daily basis. You know, you stay prepared battle ready because you don't know when the battle is but the battle is going to start as soon as you walk out that door maybe even before so you got to be ready amen yeah. knowing that we can do all things through christ who strengthens us yeah. philippians 4 13 greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world first john 4 4 and no weapon formed against you shall prosper isaiah 54 17 and we'll close with that amen so, Father, we just thank you for the opportunity we had to be in your word, Father God. All those that are watching, all those that are listening right now, Father God, whatever the situation may be. Father, we just thank you that your word will set them free. Your word will bless them. Your word will encourage them, Father. Your word will change, Father God. And your word will correct what needs to be corrected. But there's hope for anyone that's never confessed Jesus. This is your opportunity. Yes. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I failed you. I've sinned against you. I repent. I turn away from sin. And I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. And you know what? He's not going to reject you. That's right. He's just going to say, get up, my son. Yeah. And press on with the things I've given you. Yes. With, with the things I've equipped you with. Yeah. Get up and get in the battle. Get in, yes. get in there. Amen. The prodigal son returned to the father. Yes. And, you know, he just wanted to say, well, Father, you know, I, I, I'm no good to you anymore, so you can just throw me aside, you know. He says, no. He didn't even listen to what the son was saying. That's right. He says, get, 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 get him a robe, get him a ring. He said, get, let, let's, uh, let's uh, get the fatty calf, and uh, we're going yeah. to celebrate because he that was lost is now found. Yeah. So that's you, whoever you are. That's for you. Yes. You know, you were lost, but not you found. Now you're found. And you know, forget about your past. And it's time to press on with Him. Yes. Amen. It's time to press on. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. So praise God. Some of you are having some issues with uh, sickness. Or maybe your body's not feeling well. All you need to do is, 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 is receive your healing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes... We say, well, God's putting this on me. Well, first you need to know is God has no sickness in That's heaven right. to give you. That's right. So it's the enemy. It's the things. Also, be careful of the things you've been confessing. Yes. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you for all those that are watching. Yes. All those that are uh, listening. Thank you, Lord. Within the sound of my voice, Father God, we yes. just thank, thank you. you that by Jesus Christ, they yes. are healed right healed. now. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank Father. You, They're healed right now. I don't care if this is the first time you accepted Christ. Still, He died for you. Yes. Amen. And you have salvation and you have uh, healing. Yes. belongs to you. So praise God. Thank you. Be, receive your healing and be healed. He says, by Jesus' stripes, you are healed. So receive yes. your healing now in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. So Father, we just thank you that we want to be obedient. We want to be your ministers of reconciliation. Yes. Your voice in this lost world, Father God. So we just thank you as we go, Father. In your name, we can do all things yes. in your name.
Yes. Amen. So praise God. Well, I hope that blessed you. He blessed me. Yes. <laughs> Amen. And this yes. is a time for giving. Yes. Those of you that are watching or listening, you like to give. Amen. Uh, got the information on the screen there. It says uh, NBCBigBen.com. Yes. Got a donate button there. All you have to do is go click it on it. If you're uh, mailing it to us, NBC PO Box 252, Martha, Texas, 79843. Uh, Amen. Thank you, Lord. And we want to say thank you and God bless you. Have yes. a blessed day. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Amen.